Hello everyone, I'm DJ Mustang. Today we are going to solve a hacked box machine. The machine name is Aragog. When I said Aragog, you might be thinking about the weird giant spider from the Harry Potter movie. Oh no, that's not going to happen over here because this box is pretty cool and uh, there are many things to learn. So let's start. So before we begin, I would like to give you an overview about this box. So this box is basically a Linux box and um, running some random web application on this box. So we're going to uh, exploit the XXE vulnerability from that application. And uh, once we exploit that vulnerability, we'll get the user flag. And next about the root axis. Uh, for the root axis, we will going to look for the frequent cron jobs and cron is basically the system process that which will automatically performs a task or you can say the scheduled task so we're going to uh, observe the scheduled task and we're going to exploit one of them that's that that's all about this box so so let's start so uh, let's start with the end map it's a uh, n map then uh, ss for still scan sv is for service version capital o is for os version detection and capital a is for aggressive scan and the ip address is 10 10 10 so it will take some time uh, we have a saved output we'll quickly analyze it so we can see uh, there are three ports and services are running on this ports so first one is FTP second one is 22 SSH and the third one is HTTP service so uh, we'll go with the 21 FTP FTP uh, anonymous login is allowed let's see how it uh, what is there inside the FTP drive so for that you have to just type FTP and uh, IP address of host machine that is 10 10 78 and uh, type anonymous name and we are on the drive so let's check what's there okay there is one uh, one text file is present on this uh, FTP server that is uh, test.txt so we'll get this file and we'll check what's there inside the file to get the file type get and a file name that is a test.txt okay it's now it's downloaded on on our machine local machine so we'll quickly analyze it what's there inside this okay it's uh, basically uh, looks like an xml body so uh, maybe they are trying to say that uh, you have to use this xml body somewhere in the uh, definitely in the request so uh, we'll keep this aside and uh, we'll uh, go with the next service the next service is uh, 22 since we don't have uh, credentials uh, so we have to skip this port then next is 80 the HTTP service is running and the web server is Apache HTTPD 2.4.18 uh, this Apache server is running on this uh, uh, web uh, what you can say on the box so we'll quickly check that is HTTP and 10 10 10 78 so it's a default page of Apache 2 I cannot see anything so we'll go with the quick win 
robots.txt no nothing okay <clears throat> then admin login no so nothing is working over here except this default page so as we have no idea about uh, the directories present over the uh, web server we'll quickly start enumerating the uh, directories so for that we're going to uh, use a directory buster just type directory buster and it will appear one window it's a GUI based then uh, you have to just type the address URL 10 10 10 78 that's it go faster and for the least you have to select the user share word oh sorry word list where is this word list and uh, directory buster medium one and uh, just start it will take some time so we have a saved output will quickly analyzed okay so we have a saved output uh, so directory buster have uh, enumerated these um, directories you can sort it according to the directory and a file and uh, I can see only two files are uh, you know uh, enumerated on this web server so we quickly check what's oh sorry yeah this one what's there inside the file okay so uh, WB login this one and this one it is saying done and it is showing me some uh, um, possible host this is basically happens when we uh, calculate the subnet and the host in the network uh, so it is looking familiar familiar with uh, that the XML request which we have seen earlier over here uh, where was that okay this one so it is looking familiar uh, subnet mask maybe it is uh, calculating this one or uh, no it's not calculating this one because it will the number will be different and uh, here the number is different so we'll do one thing we'll start the bob suit and we'll intercept the request and we'll see how the request is going and uh, here we go oh sorry it is looking good on okay this request will quickly take it into repeater and uh, here i can see uh, something xml request is going you can see the accept it accept x html and xml request also in the application and uh, it it processes that XML application uh, XML uh, code, and it will give you the result. So, as they said, XML code you can add over here. So we'll quickly add this body. and see what's happening see uh, now it is showing that uh, 62 possible hosts for 250 by 250 by 250 by 192 so that means this particular body is uh, is processing I mean uh, XML parser is basically uh, processing this request so 
we'll try to change this number maybe 150 and we'll see whether it is uh, working or not okay 104 uh, possible host that means this XML uh, this request is ex uh, accepting that XML request so we'll try with the XXC attack so XXC attack is basically a XML external entity attack where um, if you add a third party or external code into your request so, so that code will get processed and you will get the output something like that so if you are putting the malicious one you will get the, that kind of uh, output so I got some uh, really good content on the internet from the range force uh, website uh, they have uh, uh, explained everything about the XXC how XXC happens what is DTT and many stuffs so I am mentioning the link in the description okay one more thing uh, if PHP expect uh, ex expect module is loaded then we can get the RC otherwise not something like that so first we'll go with the EDC password stuff because well, that's a easy one yep we'll copy this thing and uh, we'll modify the code according to our need so this is our code and this is the malicious one so okay we have to wrap the uh, dtd into the doc type so i guess this will be the code uh, uh, mm. okay then this body will come inside the doc type tags element xxc okay i guess the whole thing will come We'll call that XXC over here, semicolon. Oh, so we got the ETC password file. So we'll quickly analyze the users. I can see one uh, user over here Florian uh, which is present over here uh, and uh, they have mentioned the path of Florian so we'll go with this one because uh, they are clearly saying uh, showing the hint that uh, home uh, and a Florian this path exist on the on the on this machine so uh, We'll quickly change it and as we know that uh, user.txt uh, I mean uh, exist over here so you just have to say user.txt and once you hit the uh, go button you will get the user.txt uh, on uh, over here on the uh, on the response tab so that's how you will get the user.txt to escalate the privileges first of all uh, we're going to fetch the uh, private key uh, from uh, from this florian uh, uh, florian folder so home florian uh, as we know the default path is dot ssh and the id underscore RSA. Oh, sorry. So here we get the key. So we'll quickly copy this key. Okay, so you have to paste this key in the uh, separate file, separate text file, or separate file you can say. And uh, you have, you just have to pass this key. I have uh, saved it on my uh, local machine. <coughs> I'll show you. 
I have named it key so this is the same uh, key uh, we have extracted from the uh, Aragog machine from here and I have pasted in my uh, key file so we are going to uh, pass this private key uh, to login into the Aragog system uh, with the Florian user so let's quickly clear this up here and uh, is it zoom okay now it's okay sorry so we'll quickly um, go with the ssh and then the i i and the key insert key uh, and then the florian username at the host ip address 10 10 10 oh sorry that's a 10 dot 78 and here we are we are on the argox system uh, with the uh, florian username let's check who am i florian and the id is the 1000 so we'll quickly check where we are and uh, okay i can see the user.txt over here you can uh, you, you you can get this file because it's read by florian so as we have seen that the application or the box no sorry we are on the terminal only so as we have seen in the uh, uh, what you can say uh, and map result that the application is running on this box and the web server is Apache so as we uh, all know that the Apache uh, the what you can say uh, default path is where www and HTML okay so we are inside the uh, virus www html folder uh, where the apache server resides uh, apache web server resides so let's quickly analyze what's there on the server i can see the same host file present over here then index.html and uh, wp login php file is uh, present over here but I can see two more things over here that is the backup file and the dev wiki file that's a directory both are the directory basically so we'll quickly go to the directory one by one um, so we'll quickly check with the dev wiki what's the dev wiki no sorry that's a CD. Okay, now I can able to see that uh, there is a one more application running on this uh, web server because I can see the PHP files are present. So that means it is available from here also. So we'll try to dev underscore wiki so i can see uh, unknown host aragog that means maybe we have to add the host file into the etc host uh, so we'll quickly copy this and uh, and uh, okay etc hosts will quickly add the aircock into the domain etc host file the aircock domain basically we have to add into the etc host so it is like aircock that's what they said only aircock okay yes and now uh, We'll just refresh the page. I hope we'll get there. Okay, we got the 
it's basically what is this looks like in WordPress yes it's a WordPress file and uh, uh, what the half of the website is not yet uh, built so we'll quickly check one by one dev wiki the folder name and uh, just another WordPress site welcome to your site oh sorry welcome to your site this is your home page uh, which is most uh, visitors will see when they come to your site for the first time about what is this is it blank okay about you might be an artist who uh, would like to introduce yourself and uh, your work here or maybe your business with the mission described okay then the blog okay blog okay hi Florian uh, Florian that means uh, lo uh, our logged in user hi Florian uh, thought we could use a wiki feel free to log in, in and uh, have a poke around but as I am uh, messing about with a lot of changes I'll probably be restoring the site from the backup fairly frequently so backup file we have seen and then what he said uh, I'll be logging in regularly and will email the wider team uh, when I need some more testers so he's saying that I'll be logging in regularly so that means cliff basically cliff log in regularly into this um, system so definitely we're going to uh, uh, look for the crown job because uh, as cliff is saying that he regularly uh, uh, log into the system so for that we have to use uh, PSPY to download the PSPY you just have to write PSPY github oh it's uh, it's a PSPY the github you will get the script and uh, there are 32 bit and 64 bit uh, scripts are available so we'll quickly check whether it is uh, uh, 64 bit or 32 bit for that and you name minus a and this OS or this box is uh, 86 bit you can see over here x86 so we'll use this one this one or this one so we'll quickly I have downloaded this file PSP by 32 Where is that okay I have downloaded this file on my uh, local host so we'll quickly uh, you know, get that file onto the Florian machine not the Florian machine argog machine uh, so for that we have to type wget http and a host IP address is 14.5 something wrong and uh, the file name is PSPY32 so that's how okay it's successful what's okay you cannot I guess I don't have a permission to download the file is it something wrong will go out of this um, directory will save it over here it's not a problem okay now it's downloading and uh, I can able to see my file over here PSP by 32 so we'll quickly run this file first of all we have to change the uh, permission so for that chmode 777 no more 17 and the PSP by 32 now it's uh, ready to go so uh, PSP by is running on this box uh, I can see uh, one uh, cron job or uh, one uh, 
oh the more to come I guess okay uh, so but the similar thing is uh, the user cliff is uh, logging into the system as you, uh, as the message is saying the cliff as cliff said that uh, I'll be logging in regularly so that means cliff is basically logging into the system regularly like after one minute I guess I can see that 24 the same thing is over here and the 20 23 yeah bit of a 23 24 I mean basically approximately after one minute or one or one and a half minute he is logging into the system like see over here uh, 25 so uh, basically uh, this is a cron job which is happening uh, you know uh, after one minute so we're going to dump this login okay now again it is happening see 26 WP login clef uh, so so basically we have to uh, make a script which will dump this credentials so for that we'll first stop this thing okay we'll clear it out and we have to make a script which will still basically steal the credentials okay so this is the script uh, dump request PHP script and basically it is um, I'm basically stealing the uh, credentials of the user from the login form and it will dump into the uh, dump request.txt file so that file will be in the same folder so we'll copy this thing raw we'll copy this thing and we'll first of all we'll go to the dev underscore wiki okay I can see the WP login page uh, present over here so we'll quickly uh, delete this page to delete its RM command for remove as we know WP oh it's WE WP minus uh, it's not minus it's uh, hyphen uh, WP hyphen login dot php now it's removed i guess okay i cannot see the file over here now what we'll do we'll going to uh, create a same file with the same name not the same file we'll create our file with the same name so for that we'll use a nano uh, editor wp login dot php and we'll paste our code it's pasted and it will uh, dump into this create a new file and it, it will dump the credentials over here so quickly control X for saving the file yes and okay so there was a problem with the box so I reset the box and uh, login into the uh, this Florian user once again and did the same thing like uh, remove the file uh, login file and then uh, again paste this uh, code into the uh, existing uh, not the existing one uh, what the, with the uh, inside new one and just uh, call this file and we got the password over here but the password is uh, something in the percentage percentage something like that so we know the per where this kind of stuff use uh, so mostly this kind of person uh, symbols person 21 and something all this stuffs are uh, used in the URL encoding so we'll quickly decode this thing into the burp and decode as uh, we're going to decode with the URL and we got the password so we'll use this password to escalate the privileges su root and the password here we go so who am I root and ID is root so uh, we have successfully exploited the XXC vulnerability and the cron job 
uh, and that's how we got the uh, root axis so thank you so much for watching and uh, have a nice day